everyone, my name is Lachey Hall. I'm a senior chemical engineering major, and today I'm here to give you a tour of Reed Hall. If you look around Reed, you will see here we have the nursing building, as well as a great view of the stadium. We are near the Maples, which is also near the food place called Maple Grill. You gotta try it for yourself. As well as we're about five minutes away from the Fulbright Dining Hall, so you don't have to walk that far in the morning to get breakfast before class. All right, let's head on in. There we go. This is the uh, Yes, so like any of the other dorms, Reed Hall goes on a FOB system, which is access only to those that are registered to this building. Um, all of the exits are FOB, as well as a few of the spaces in the hall. As we go along, you will see those areas. Behind the camera, we have Hi everyone, my name is Emily. I'm the marketing intern for University Housing and feel free to tell us where you're tuning in from. And we have actually a couple of comments. Um, someone said, Ash girl, you make us so proud. <laughs> and someone said her hair is pretty. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. And you have family tuning in sometimes? Yes, I tell my family every time and they, they're always here. That's probably them now. Ash is my family name, that's how I know it's, it's someone who grew me up. <laughs> All right. Here we have the CRE for this building. Hello, I'm Jasmine Jones. I am the CRE for Reed Hall. This will be my second year supervising this hall. Um, CRE stands for Coordinator for Residence Education. Um, I supervise the RAs. I serve as advisor for our lead halls. Um, and I also just see the day-to-day -day functions of the building. So making sure that you're safe, you have what you need facilities-wise, just overall resource to you in the hall. All right. And if you look over here, we have front desk. Now she's not here, but one of my favorite hall admins is Grace. Grace is wonderful and she's quirky and she's just all around fun to be around. So front desk is kind of where you go if you ever get locked out. Um, this is where you come to pick up bigger packages for mail. A little bit later, we'll show you where your mailboxes are located. But anything that's bigger than, you know, a small package or an envelope, you will get an email from housing, which will more than likely be from Grace. And the bigger packages, you will come here to pick those up. You might say hello to the 242. Oh, hello, 242. Are they blowing up the comments? I they love did to a see couple. It. <laughs> and someone said they're tuning in from McKinney, Texas. Ooh, shout out to Texas as well. Yes. I'm not biased, just a little bit. <laughs> All right. This way, we have those mailboxes I talked about. Um, you will get your mailbox number as well as the combination from your housing portal whenever you get access to that. Um, like we said before, there are two sets of instructions on how to open your mailbox. But if you ever get a little flustered or confused, sometimes you go a little bit too far and it resets. I'm sure Jasmine, Grace, or any RA would be more than willing to give you a hand on opening your mailbox. Do you, do you mind showing them the, the how it's done? Yes, do I don't know the, the codes to yes. this, but first you turn left to the first number. So I'll say my first number is zero. Um, I would say the trickiest part is making sure that the arrow lines up perfectly with the lines. Then you will go right and you have to pass your first number one time and then stop on your second number. Then you go left to your third number. Go a little bit right just so it locks in and then you should be able to open it. Yes. Um, we actually got a comment. Uh, someone said, can you comment on the posts that I have seen about mold in the rooms and what steps have been taken to eliminate this? Jasmine. Yeah. Um, so one of the reasons we kind of um, experienced mold in the building, for one, we were built in um, 1976. Mm -hmm. um, so 67. we're a very old building. Um, but 67. 67. I'm almost a dyslexia. My bad. <laughs> um, and so what happens is you'll see when we get up to the rooms is that your bed is in front of the ventilation system for your H, like the HVAC AC unit. And so what we will encourage you to do during move-in throughout the year is 
not to block that space. That is where a lot of the condensation happens and that's where the room gets kind of moist is because you know y'all decorate y'all's room so beautifully um, that you tend to block that area and so I'll show you when we get up there like that specific space not to block to help with that um, issue a little bit. And I can say also that you know mold has happened in those rooms we always have had it tested and it's come back and it's been it's know, been safe. fine like yeah. it's nothing that is going to mess with your um health or anything um some of the things that i have given um residents in the past is like uh, walmart's has a really good mildew prevention spray that doesn't have any bleach in it and so it helps prevent mold on your clothes on the shelves on anything so if you want to pick that up at walmart that is a good one another one is the the blue tupperware like moisture absorbent like i think mildew makes them um if you want to pick those up those are two good solutions if you want to be preventative of mold in the first place and housing will come in and clean that yes, thing too yes, so fix will. it is our is our mechanism for that yes facilities will come in all right, all right so we're gonna go to this corner here and like i always say the vending machines are stocked weekly pay no attention to them now because it's just the summer as you can see our drinks are still chilled and ready to go um this way this is kind of my favorite room in reed here we have the kitchen as well that has a stove and i see some people left some seasoning in case we wanted to make a quick meal <laughs> this room is referred to as the sun room and i'm gonna just let y'all have a moment of awe for yourselves this room is amazing you can come in here, movie nights, game. This is a perfect game night couch for like a group of six, seven girls. If you guys decide to cook, and I know my friends sometimes we cook and decide that we're gonna have like a fancy dinner. You can do that all right here. And just, you know, enjoy each other, enjoy the evening. Or if you're in here alone, you can just lay off with your books on a comfortable rug, do some studying, do some note taking, whatever fits your persona. Um, we actually got another question. Mm -hmm. um, it's, are we allowed to bring a dehumidifier? Uh, yes, you are allowed to have to meet that word. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And Reed is one of the halls that has their own gym. Kudos to that. I am a very avid user of Reed's gym. <laughs> I love the setup. Um, as you know, this is a girls only dorm. So there is a woman's restroom located in the rear corner. Another good part about Reed is that there is a UAPD, which is University of Arkansas Police Department substation located just inside the gym. Um, officers are stationed there at different scheduled times throughout the year. So there's no need to go all the way down to the police department. If you need help with anything, if you just want to say, hey, or you have questions, um, someone will be available to help you. There's also the number posted on the door. If you do happen to come at a time where um, nobody is scheduled in there or they had to step out for a moment. I feel like the canine units come over sometimes, yes, is that right? Yes, we constantly have puppy visits, always. <laughs> um, another thing, if y'all were wondering, we are going back to 100% function in the gym, and so that means all of our machines will be open, weight station will be open, um, and there's no hours, so it is readily available 24-7, and it's only accessible to Reed residents. Mm -hmm. That was and actually one stopped. of the questions. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's leave the gym. You know, we've done our workout for the day. <laughs> Jasmine, we're actually going this way towards your wonderful office. Oh God, I forgot to close it. <laughs> she can close it. <laughs> I just want y'all to look at how gorgeous her door is. Very nice. So that is my office. Feel free to stop by, say hello. If you have any programming ideas, if you have any comments, concerns, just if you just want to say hi, that is where my office is, directly behind the read desk. All right. Okay. Through this hallway, we actually have another wonderful room that is also only accessible to read residents. 
your own slice of home. I just believe this is an entire like house kitchen. Like I always feel like I just walked into my house anytime I come in here. Fully accessible to read residents. Um, Jasmine, do you know about them checking out utensils and stuff like that? Yes, so we are going back to our normal checkout system that we have different cooking utensils, pots, pans at the front desk for people to check out. Um, we normally have dish soap, dish, mm -mm, dish soap, and cleaning supplies as well. If you don't have that, to, if you use your own um, cooking utensils, um, the refrigerator is here. You are more than welcome to leave food in there. We just ask that you label it and make sure you keep in mind expirations because we do throw things away once they're expired just for health purposes. Um, but you are more than welcome to store things in that refrigerator. All right. And this dorm also allows you to have micro fridges. If you're not a community fridge type of person, you can always just store things in your room and bring it on down to the kitchen once you're ready to make a meal. Another favorite of mine is this little deck we have here so gorgeous in the summer <laughs> it'll scream at us <laughs> and you know i've heard of many events they've had out here jasmine um told me about um the halloween specifically that this is their starting area for their haunted house so i'm excited this year to come on down now that we're all back you know in public and getting back together to see what they have for us this year so bring a costume right yeah <laughs> I, I don't i don't know about a costume do you dress up? Do you dress up for halloween? i don't dress up for halloween i do enjoy the candy i'll put on like extra makeup to get some candy if that works this is also fall so Remember to bring your keys with you once you come outside. Jasmine, can you tell us anything about Hell on the Hill? Is that an event that you guys do? Yes, so Hell on the Hill is in October. It is a two-day series that we um, co-host with Hot Hall. And so you'll have a chance to walk through our six, maybe seven room this year, haunted house, um, and then go experience some escape rooms, some fun snacks, things, and hot. So I'm super excited. The, the RAs at this building plan it, act it, you name it, they do it, and it's amazing. <laughs> do you dress up for Halloween? No. <laughs> they, ask you, they ask you the same question. <laughs> Through here, we have yet another beautifully furnished movie room. Perfect for episodes of The Bachelor or Survivor, whatever your persona is. This is also another entry and exit to the deck. Any questions, comments? Nope, not yet, but feel free to ask any questions or leave any comments. Oh, I would just like to point out that Reed has doors on both sides. Um, the parking lot that you will most likely be using is on this side, um, but you are- The north side. The north side of the building, but you are able to come through the south side during moving as well, just to kind of facilitate everybody coming in and out. We do have a co-ed bathroom on the first floor. The rules of this dorm, though it is an all-female dorm, you can have male visitors. They're just not allowed to stay overnight. So this is where they would use the bathroom. They're also not allowed to use the bathrooms on the floors because they are female only. We're gonna walk on past our elevators for a minute here and come down and show you guys the laundry room. As this is a bigger dorm, the laundry room is pretty nice with about more than five, seven, seven washers and dryers. Also the ice machine. There's also a TV and sitting area for those of you that don't want to leave your laundry unattended. This is just great. And I always like to mention that there is an app that you can download and just put in which dorm you are I'm um, staying in and then once you know the number of your washer and our dryer, it'll tell you um, one if there are any washer or dryers available and how many time is left on the one that you are using. Uh, we actually have a couple of questions. Uh, someone asked, do you know if the resident reserve spots have all been filled? I am not sure. Um, that would be a question for, a question for, parking. for parking and transit. Mm -hmm. um, as, uh, you can go like I do Google, anything I do, I put UARC and then put what I'm looking for. 
I find it every time. So I would just put UARC parking and transit. I call them, they're open during the summer and ask the questions or you can shoot them an email if what you're looking for isn't on the website. Uh, Jocelyn asked, do we need to bring our own laundry detergent? Yes, so the washers and dryers are free. You just need laundry detergent, pods, um, soap, powder, dryer Different sheets, pods. Pods anything. Are the best. Pods are the best. Um, I'm just saying if you're not a pods person, you can use a variety of detergents. Um, yes, that's the only thing that's not provided. And uh, the laundry, or the washing machines are not exactly free. They're covered under the housing fees. Yes. So you don't have to put quarters in, mm -hmm. is what I mean. And someone else asked, are there single rooms? So this year, just because of occupancy, there won't be any single rooms in Reed. Or any hall for that matter. Yeah, we have a lot of people coming yeah. this fall. We're excited. So many people. I am excited. Any other questions? Nope, we're caught up. All right. So now we're going to head on down to, head on up, I should say, to the ninth floor. And the Blue room first. Or the trash room. Oh, the trash room. Yeah. Yes. Is the trash room here? Okay. This is the trash room. It looks a bit empty now, except for some cardboard boxes. Trash chutes traditionally aren't open in Reed. We're still not sure if they will be active this year, but you can always come on down and put place your trash in this room just to be safe. Do you want to add anything? Oh. So um, our trash room is not meant for you to sit your trash in there, but the door that you saw, you have to bring your fob downstairs to get out of that door and back into that door when you take your trash out. So, um, As far as recycling, how does that go? Okay. Here we go. <coughs> so another great part of Reed Hall is that we have something called the Blue Room, um, and it's literally a blue room um, assigned for I would say social events but more specifically studying there is a grand room as well as two individual rooms with whiteboards in case you need to study write notes anything you guys want I also think the individual rooms um as you notice I've probably said game night like three times is my favorite thing to do it's perfect if you have a group of five or six and you just want an area for you guys to laugh, scream, do whatever you need to do without disrupting everyone else on your floor. I do have a shameless plug. Um, in this room is where our lead hogs meet, and lead hogs is just a branch of our RIC, um, which is a student's voice organization that we have through housing, um, which is also one of our pick one options this year. And so if you haven't heard of pick one, pick one is a program that is set up for you all to get to connected to campus before you even get here. And so if you want to go to pickone.ur.edu, you'll find a list of organizations that are listed for you to say, oh, that sounds like something I'm interested in. You can click on it and give you all the information about open house during A week. You should look at the A week schedule as well. Um, and then just be able to um, see what organization interests you to already have that plan before you even get here. So. Speaking of A week, shameless plug. <laughs> I was also an A week leader. It is amazing. Here, outside of the blue room is where you will find your recycling, plastics, newspaper, mix papers and aluminum cans. I also believe there is a place outside for cardboard and they normally like identify that at the beginning of the year which areas you can put your cardboard for recycling as well. Um, we have a question. Mm -hmm. Is Reed mainly a freshman dorm? What is the normal ratio for freshmen to upperclassmen? We are Predominantly, Predominantly first a, yes, freshman class. Uh, the most interaction we're going to get with upperclassmen is going to be our staff, which is RAs. Um, a lot of the times, it's I'm going to say like 90% of our building is freshmen. Yes. Okay. Any other questions? No. All right. So now we're going to head up to the ninth floor. Um, just letting you guys know, getting into the elevator, we might lose a bit of connection, but just stick with us, and we'll be back if we leave. So chemical engineering, yes, right? yes. Tell yes. me about how you got into chemical engineering. Well, I there is a program in Michigan called Academically Interested Minds, um, and when I was in grade eleven, my country sponsored the Rotary um, Department in my country sponsored me to 
do college courses for five weeks in the summer in Flint, Michigan at Kettering University and I fell in love with it. All my life I thought I wanted to be a neonatologist which is a pediatrician that deals with babies um, up to 32 weeks, um, especially like babies that are born early and things like that. I did five weeks of engineering courses and I was sold for life. <laughs> uh, we have a question. Kristen asked, how far from Reed is the nearest dining option? About five minutes, seven minutes if you're just like half asleep just trying to make it to breakfast. <laughs> That, the name of that option is Fulbright Dining Hall. It is. Is that west? West. west. Oh, I got it. <laughs> west of this building. I think right. it's east. <laughs> I think it's east. <laughs> Isn't it? I think. I think I'm wrong. Okay. Yeah. We I'll, I'll pull out, I'll pull out a comment here. We'll figure it out. Um, do you want to show the study room? Yes. So each floor also has individual study rooms. Um, that also come with TVs and individual chairs as well as a couch. Um, this is also an option if you don't really want to go all the way down to first floor to the blue room or outside of your hall for the matter or if you don't want to study in your room because you know you need it to be by yourself. This is also a good option. Uh, someone asked, is there a bus stop for Reed? Yes, so the Reed bus stop is on the north side of Reed. And I think it is the 48, it's the pink bus stop. Would it, I'd be catching the bus, okay? It is the pink bus stop. Um, and I believe it goes from the Union Station around. So you would, Reed's pickup would be both inbound and outbound. All right. All right. So we're gonna go down the hall and Reed predominantly has two types of rooms. We have the, regular hall I mean, the oh the bathroom <laughs> you are correct so as i mentioned before reed is a women's only um dorm so we have on my left that's just stalls and mirrors and then on my right we have showers one of the things i love about reed bathrooms is this is something i did not know existed before i met reed it is a better way of disposing of our feminine hygiene products to just prevent any blood contamination within the bathroom and just for an overall pleasant experience with you know the awkwardness of being in a public bathroom and getting rid of those things it also saves the trees because you use less tissue from the you know predominant way of doing things we also have shelving, <laughs> working water. I'm not going to try it. You have a curtain for each side, as well as more of the maskets and a bench. This area is normally used for getting dressed once you leave the shower. A full body mirror. <laughs> oh, I was just uh, mentioning that there um, this is not the only restroom on this floor. There's two sets of restrooms on both sides. And so if this one is full, there's another full set of showers and uh, toilets on the opposite side of the hall. Yeah. And they are allowed to use the restrooms on other floors as well. So don't feel like it's just, I need to stay on my floor if they are full. I've been told that people make friends in the bathroom. Is that right? I honestly, some of my greatest memories are in the bathroom. I will say there. <laughs> There are two other girls. I don't know if they are watching this. They they are still at the U of A, um, but we we realized we would all shower around the same time because of our class schedule, and so we made a shower playlist. And whoever had the playlist was in the middle shower, and it was all songs because you know that annoyance of like when you want to hear your music, but the person next to you is already playing music and they're playing something you don't want to hear. So we kind of made a combined playlist so everybody got their like little snippet. And at the end of the year, we kind of knew each other's songs and would just like sing along, and we all had our own parts. Christina and Cam, shout out to you. <laughs> <laughs> We're in room 908. <laughs> so this is room 908 for anybody that is going to live here. So this is kind of uh, a different style room. We call these in-hall in rooms. 
Um, it's just because instead of being on the north and south side, this one is in the hallway that connects both. Do we have any questions about measurements? I'll kind of show you around. They each have dresser drawers, mirrors, a closet, desk, chair, normal dorm furniture setup. We're going to look at a normal room in just a moment. Yeah. We just want to show this room first. Uh, someone said that's smart to your oh. shower tip. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, just a quick input to room furniture. Um, all the room furniture has to stay in the room. Um, I know that a lot of you will bring your own shelving or storage items um, and or chairs. So you are more than welcome to bring those things. But if you uh, decide that you don't want to use a piece of furniture, it just has to stay in the room. Uh, feel free to ask any questions. So this is an end room right now, and we're going to get ready to head over to a more standard room. How did you create a collaborative playlist? How did you do that? Okay, so it all started when I, the very assertive, I'm going to say what I have to say person was like, I don't like your shower music, and it disturbs me. Oh. <laughs> and so she was like, well, I was scared to tell you that I don't like your shower music. And so I was like, well, why don't we just do a playlist? Because if you hop around the CM class schedule, you're going to hit the bathroom the exact same time, like every day of the year. So we all kind of just, I know every girl has a shower playlist. So we kind of just looked at our shower playlist and picked our favorite songs and then put them all on one playlist. And so whoever was in the middle shower, because I lived in Holcomb, which only has three and so whoever was in the middle was the person that was playing the music. And, you know, we just put it on shuffle. If it was your day, it was your day. But it wasn't like a semester of hearing opera and like R&B. I'm an R&B shower girl. So uh, we're getting a few questions, actually. Uh, someone's asking, what are the window measurements? Are we talking width or height? I assume both. And keep in mind, we're in the end room now. We're not yes, in the standard room. this is the room. end room. Does she want from, he or she, or they want from side to side or yeah. just one I think side? Both. I just do both. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that way and that way. There we go. It is 134 inches. And then this way. Sixty-three inches. Um, someone asked, "Are the bulletin boards removable, and how do you remove them?" They are not removable, so there is no how to remove them. People cover them sometimes. I think. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ange asks, "What size does the chair fold down for storage?" Um, it's a gamer's chair, so, so that top piece top comes off, off, but the roller piece to does it collapse. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, someone asked, how long is the closet rod? That's a good question. Uh, let's talk about the it's, 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 so it looks up, it looks like about six on each side. And yeah. it's the same on the other side. Yeah. So 12 in this room. Yes. Yeah. I don't think there's one behind here. Um, and if that is not enough plugs for you, um, extension cords are not acceptable, but um, power, strips. power strips are. With yeah. a circuit breaker or with Can a, you um, also, yeah. do you know the ones with, um, where you put it in and there's like six of them? Instead, uh, those are not acceptable okay. either. Yeah. I figured someone would be like, ha-ha. Yeah. Okay. Someone asked, are towel racks permanently adhered to the door? Yes. yes. There's yes. one for each person. It's um, not that way. Oh, it's not? It's just, it's one typically. Oh, okay. Uh, someone asked, what is allowed to hang up decorations on the walls? So, normally my rule of thumb is you can hang up anything you can remove and there is no trace of it whatsoever. If you can't remove something and look like you never lived here, then you probably shouldn't put it up. So like 
command so, hooks. Yes, is command like good. hooks, blue tape. Um, this wall doesn't help with thumbtacks. It, I probably, it probably won't go in anyway. But yeah, I'm a command hooks and blue tape kind of girl. It'll work wonders. I will say, they, there's always the question about LED lights. I'm typically the person to fold the blue tape the same size as my light strip. And instead of using the light strip tape, I just put the blue tape under it. Or if the blue bothers you, you can get the like beige colored mm -hmm. painter's tape. As long as and, painter's tape. Yeah, painter's tape in any color will help. Even if you paint the outside of the painter's tape, the color of your decoration to like better blend it. I've, I've done much. Why don't we go into one of the normal rooms now? Okay. So is, that or is that all the questions? Um, we have a, a lot more. Okay. <laughs> um, someone asked, are the rooms window measurements the same as normal rooms? The windows here are not. No. They are okay. not. And These are in hall room. rooms. We'll get that measurement um, as soon as we get there. Someone wanted the curtain rod for the end of a room. We did that. Uh, Mike asks, how do we hang curtains? So... I normally hang curtains with tension rods, which don't normally leave a mark as long as you don't like do it too tight where it's like pushing against wood or anything and just use the hooks and slide curtains on. That's normally my way of doing it. If you have another way that, like I said, doesn't interrupt what the room already has going on, feel free. R is as well as um, Jasmine, if you ask questions, they'll probably have a lot more tips on how to hang things up to make it look certain way. Um, a good resource um, for specifics like that is going to old Facebook Facebook chats where parents get on there and they have those conversations. Um, that is a really good resource to find out where they get different decorations, um, how they make custom headboards. Like that is a really good resource. It's like parents on Facebook in old chats. Mm -hmm. um, Jocelyn asks, can we put contact paper on the desks? I will say <laughs> you can, but if it is... You can, if you can, remove it with no trace of it. So I would say if you are going to take the time to make sure it's smooth and doesn't have bubbles when you put it on, take that same time to like slowly remove it when you're taking it off because you will get charged if, and if it is left on or if it peels the tape off of something. So it's not forbidden, but it's not encouraged. Um, someone asked, is 824 considered an end room? No. No. Uh, Lauren asked, are power boxes okay? Is that what you asked about? I, I don't know what mine is called. Can you specify what is a, a power, power box? Is a power box the one where you plug it in with one, and it turns two plugs into like six or eight? If so, she said that's not allowed. Um, someone asked, what is an ideal size rug for the end rooms? So maybe we could measure, I can use my foot. Yeah, I think you might be able to get it right here too. Oh yeah. Hey, I see it. 138 inches in between the beds and across, let's start from right Yeah, here. maybe from right there. Across, we have 100 inches. And then uh, one last question until we're caught up for now. Uh, Mike asks, two tension rods or one long one? I would say two, just because rods have a tendency to fall. And if you have one long rod that's just toppling across two desks, that's very, that would scare me. So I would prefer one. And honestly, your roommate might want a different like you might have to split the room in half because you want to decorate it one way and their half wants to be a different way. So I would say just get one and then if you two decide to, you know, share the wall space, then you each would have one rod to put together and make two. Several pieces in here are movable too. Yes. I think you may have mentioned that. The bed's movable, the, the desk beds, is movable. These are movable, just not out of the room. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. Are bunk beds allowed? Okay. So bunk beds, unfortunately, aren't allowed in this dorm, so you will kind of just have to maneuver. 
Um, we have a couple more questions, but we can go ahead and move to the yeah, standard. Right there. If, if you have um, a question specifically for the in-room at this point, please write in-room in there so we'll know you when you yes. come back here. So now we're heading to room... 909. Which is a standard room. This and is standard room with the most beautiful view of the stadium. Yes. As well as the glimpse of Old Main. The, the sky looks beautiful today. Yes, and we have a couple questions. Uh, someone asks, if you were to raise the bed to the highest height, what is the height and width below for storage? And what would be the best measurement for the bed skirt for the highest height? Yeah. Uh, when it comes to very specific heights of what these beds can do, uh, go to movein.uark.edu. Um, about halfway down the page, you're going to find ready to arrive. Click on there, and then you're going to find something that says lofting beds or mattress sizes. And in there, you're going to find exactly how many, what's the height, what's the, what's the highest, and, and what's the lowest, and then increments of three inches between those two. In this case, there is a pretty easy loft. A mm -hmm. uh, rubber mattress would let you knock it out, flip it over if you needed to. But also, you can get it lofted ahead of time yes. by Putting going to housing.uart.edu forward slash fix it, or you've got an alternative or, method. <laughs> you can just Google UARC maintenance request, it's the first link, and we really, really, really highly recommend you guys putting in your request to loft your beds before you arrive. Once you get here, everyone is going to want their bed at a different height, so it's better if once you get here, it's already up or down, left or right, and you can just go ahead and start and it helps our maintenance people be less boggled down at the beginning of the year. And if you get it in before July 30th, typically, then you're going to arrive and it's going to be already done. Mm -hmm. um, we are in room 909, right? Yes, okay. 909. And Melissa asks, how do you put up two curtain rods? So, I don't know the answer. <laughs> My thinking was you take some sort of object and put it up. I don't know, have you ever seen people do that? A shelf in the middle that that serves as a stopping point for each one so if you've seen those um, shelves that have three shelves but they are like very narrow mm -hmm. then the first one would go from the wall to the end of that shelf and then they would make the other one go from the other side of the shelf to the wall mm -hmm. that makes sense I've also done this with just two people and you just like hold the two ends together and tighten to the wall so that the two ends of the curtain are pushing against themselves. Mm -hmm. That way you don't have to buy extra work. shelving if you don't want to. But extra shelving in dorms can't never hurt. Yes. Um, Lauren asks, what is the measurement of the middle vanity and each of the drawers? All right. Let's find out. The middle vanity is 63 inches, and now this has two types of drawers, so we're going to do the smaller drawers first. Oh, do you want to do the... Oh, you are correct. And it is 23 inches deep. It's also a wonderful mirror. Just enjoy mirrors. The drawer is 17 inches in, as in this way. And about 13 inches across. This is, these are the smaller top drawers. The larger drawers are about 17 inches deep, 28 inches across. And I also like to give you guys the measurement of like how far down you can pack clothing. And that'll be about eight inches. So um, there's a good little stop. And someone asks, is there a COVID plan for this year? So we are, if you haven't heard already at 
over capacity in our buildings, um, but we are still taking COVID guidelines into consideration, seeing how things are going um, over the past, over the next few weeks. And so uh, we are looking into as much as we can providing those spaces on campus, um, but it will not be anything like it was last year to where we like had an entire building dedicated to isolation or quarantine. And so um, we do not have a solidified plan yet, but there is something in the works. Uh, what I can say is that if you have the means to go home that will be our primary process of like just asking you can you make it home or go ahead and go home because we are in overflow in over half of our buildings and we are trying to get people on campus and so um there's a process coming um there isn't a solidified one but if something does happen we will have something in place like jasmine says there's a couple things you can bank on one is that we really want you to get vaccinated before you before you come to come to the University of Arkansas is highly, highly recommended, not required, but highly recommended. And um, that uh, we have a couple of spaces set aside for isolation and quarantine, but nothing like we did last year. So the recommendation, as Jasmine mentioned, is that, uh, you know, go home if you can mm -hmm. off campus for that period of approximately two weeks mm -hmm. as you isolate or quarantine, if that comes up. Mm -hmm. And I will also say like, as a student, throughout the year last year and i'm pretty sure they're going to keep it up during the school year there are continuous updates on if anything changes or anything is added any rules removed there are constant communication between the higher ups and the students so i don't feel as though you will ever be out of the loop on what you should be doing or what is expected if this happens or this happens they always let you know once they once something is finalized there's emails sent out um someone asked does reed offer fix it requests for loafing beds i didn't believe they offered it for this storm yes okay and someone asked how deep can the shelf in the middle of the window be the ledge yeah i think they want the the from here to the roof no the the ledge oh the, yes. the ledge okay. yeah That is 15 inches. And Jocelyn asks, where do we go to request our lofted beds again? Okay, so like I say, my quick way is just to Google UARC maintenance request. Or fix it. I think or fix you could do it. UARC fix it. Um, and it will be a, just like, I think it's a Google form. You fill out the building, the room number, um, which area, and then it'll ask you like, what do you want done? And in the description, you can just say like, I would like my bed lofted to a certain height and you all you get an email to confirm that you put the request in as well as an email when it's accepted which means somebody is actively working on it and one when it's completed uh, mike asks inside the closet what is the inner measurement for the lower shelf so i guess just give them both measurements or all the measurements this is 47 inches across and there we go 16 inches I'm also wants that deep and nine inches up uh, someone asked is there any wall space for a standard in a standard room for a full-length mirror is there a mirror I would say, depending, I mean, it wouldn't make sense. If you want to put a full length mirror here and just step back for it, me particularly, I will probably put it in the closet and just have my clothes start after it. Um, that, would, that would be one thing I would do. Um, I don't really see another place for it because you have this mirror I'm pretty sure if you like step far enough back, it'll get at least like yeah. three quarters of you. Um, Kristen asks, will you measure the closet from the bottom to each of the shelves? So this is 22 and a half inches. The next one was nine. So it's 22 plus nine. Mm -hmm. And then, and then do you want to get the top one? 
from here to the top? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would measure. Oh, from here and yeah. then add it? Yeah. You're right. And that's 21. So 22 plus 9. Is 31. Plus, plus 21 is 52. Yes, math. <laughs> uh, Lauren asks, where are the outlets in the regular rooms? Okay. There's, there's one. Two. There's one. And I think there's two, one on this I'm wall. Sorry. On this wall. Is it? No. Is it back there? Is it already back there? No. Those are it. There's also these up here. Yes. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six at least. Mm -hmm. And this is one of our older buildings. It's a 67. And like building. she was saying about the power strips, that'll be a perfect for like, I know those of us who like our phone chargers closer to us um, with the outlet being at the desk. All right. Um, Kara asks, can you measure ledge to ceiling? So, so I think they mean. Mm -hmm. That would be 62 and a half inches. Uh, someone asked, where do people usually put the mini fridge? Outside of under or under the bed? So I've known people to put the fridge here and a microwave up here. Jasmine, how, what have you seen? Um, most of the times when you get your bed lofted, um, you I normally see the mini fridges under or on the side of the bed. Um, so that's just because of plug accessibility. It's normally when you get your bed right, it goes under the bed. And like she said, please remember not to block the vents if yeah, you do right. such. These There's are the even a warning. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, we're currently caught up on the questions. Do you have anything to say to any to the incoming students? Um, specifically for this dorm, like Jasmine said, this is a freshman dorm, and I would say like find comfort in other people that don't know the area, that don't know anyone. They're just as lost as you. They're just as excited as you. They're just as confused. So if you guys could just bond together and like figure it out together. Like I said, Cam and Christine, those are, fr I'm a senior now. I've made friendships for like life. When I tell you life, some of the friends I made at Holcomb, I just went for lunch with my friend the other day. We just was saying, hey, I haven't seen you in a while. Let's get lunch. And I will say some of you may drift apart into your majors during, you know, sophomore, junior, senior year. But the bonds you make as a confused, scared, and far from home, close to home, away from home freshmen can really like build your experience at the university. And we got one more question from Lauren. Lauren asks, can you measure the vanity top to the bottom of the shelf? Okay. So this? I th yeah. That is 16, about 16 and a half inches. There is a lip there. Too. Yes. Oh, so. Yes. You know, behind the lip. Yeah, behind. It's okay. Yeah. No, that's what you measure one. Oh, do you want me to measure the lip to lip? Um. So like you gotta go back. We'll push back. Yeah. Let me see. Oh, down here. Yeah. Oh, that lip. I thought you meant this lip. Yeah. This is so little... twenty, um, twenty and a half inches, twenty point five approximately. And That'll then, be good. Uh, Please put like curtains. Uh, someone asked, can you put a microwave on the window ledge? Yeah, if you want to. There is a plug back there, too. Oh, there is? Yeah. Okay. Yes, that's where the other one is. There's a plug There's two right, right there. there. Mm -hmm. Eight. Yeah. And then Standard of eight. we also got a question. Um, what are considered some of the big items furniture that you can bring for early drop-off? Um, Oh, if you qualify for early drop-off, you literally can bring what you need to bring. Like, yeah. you just, trunks, uh, mini fridges, microwaves, um, anything, yeah, headboard, anything that you consider, like, what you want to bring early, you can bring it. Like, I don't think there's any restrictions on, like, what's a big item. And, and we'll take a moment to explain what the early drop-off process is, because some of you may not be aware <laughs> of it. Uh, if you live within 70 miles of the University of Arkansas, then you're allowed to come in 
on certain days uh, and bring things. You don't get to move in, no. but you get to bring your things in, so your movement's a little easier. And that's a new process we started, I believe, two years ago, or maybe even only one year ago. Okay. It's worked well for us, and it's worked well for you. Okay. So that means you drop it off and you go. Not take things out, not decorate, not set up a little bit. No, drop it and you go. Um, Lauren asks, what about right above the drawers to the bottom of that shelf you just measured? So the one you Oh, they want that. Okay. Should I go yes, back? Go back you should go back. Thirty-five, about thirty-six inches. And Mike asks, "What is the size of the vent?" So I would do it from the open to the open. From this. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh I don't can know. I have a hand, please? I don't know if you're. Oh, look, you hit a finger. Is that my mm -hmm. Do you guys watch SpongeBob? Yes. <laughs> when he's like, oh, Hans. <laughs> That's about 27 and a half inches. In that dimension. And the other up and down. probably, I don't know. And, and hopefully you're asking because you're thinking, how do I make a cutout to make sure I don't cover that? <laughs> this you know, is we eight appreciate inches. That. There's a second vent down there, too. Yes. So if you're trying to maybe put some decoration, no, the, uh, the I was going to give oh, okay. between oh. the vents. Between the openings is about 12 inches. I think it's too small. Yeah, it's about five, yeah. four or five inches right there. All right, so we're currently caught up on the questions. Uh, do you have any messages to the incoming students coming to read? Yes, just don't be afraid to get connected. Um, uh, studies will show that the retention rate is greater, your experience is greater when you get connected to campus. Um, whether that's making friends, whether that's uh, being a part of an organization, going to events, um, knowing your RA, knowing your roommate, just making sure you get connected to campus is going to make your experience 10 times better. Um, it'll make you want to come back and it'll get you closer to graduation. So don't be afraid to get to get to get connected to campus. Um, little side note too is don't be afraid to utilize the people around you as resources. So that means getting to know your RA, come in and talk to me as a CRE, um, communicating with your professors and your teachers and your advisors, like really utilizing them in their professions and their experiences and their expertise to help you get where you need to be successful by all means necessary. Um, we got a few more questions. Which is the A bed and B bed, or does it even matter? It does not matter. The way that that um, is indicated is by who has what key. So it's first come, first serve. Um, whoever gets here first decides which bed they get. Um, that's really for us is to know who has what key. Which we usually describe as door side and window side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But um, as far as like A is window, B yeah. is door, that does not matter. Yeah. Um, Mike asks, what is the distance from the closet to the other side of the wall? So I guess the, the From whole... the closet, I guess oh. from the end of the closet right so there this to wall. the wall. So yeah. Where's the oh. Mr. Dot, where did you go? That is about 117 inches. Um, Ange asks, what about safes in the room? Are those common? Um... So we really don't pay attention to what the students are bringing in. Um, so if it is something that is coming, we wouldn't know. Is it allowed? Yes. So if you think you need one, by all means bring one. Is there a lockable in here? No. No. So yeah, I would. None of the drawers in here lock either. So if you need something to be more secure, then you can bring your own safe. Uh, Mike asks, can you give us a 360 of the room? Step out. Step out. I could stand in the corner. Okay, you can come back now. <laughs> you can come back. And then one last question. What is the best size for rugs in the main rooms? So I guess. Ninety-three inches. And I would probably get from the desk to the desk. Yeah. From here to here. Ninety-five inches. All right. 
Well, Total. thank you all for tuning in. I'm standing in this <laughs> It was very nice for you all to join us. I appreciate it, all the questions. Um, again, I am Jasmine, the CRE of the hall. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you are more than welcome to reach me at my email, which will be jasmine, J-A-S-M-I-N-E-J, at uart.edu. Um, I work nine to five every day, um, getting ready for you all to come and move in. Um, and I'm so excited to see you all. Uh, so remember, remember, hydrate, look online, see what is allowed, what's not allowed, um, and just get excited. It's not a normal year. <laughs> so yes. hopefully we can uh, all get together and uh, learn some new experiences that you work has to provide. Yeah. See y'all later.